So there's gonna be a, a Pokemon series, a Pokemon live action series on Netflix. And Joe Hans Henderson from uh, Lucifer, who is all, that's also on Netflix, is the right and exactly in exactly produced the show. Now here's the thing, I'm very opposed to to uh, to this live action series because I feel it's not going to fit the tone and atmosphere of uh, of the setting of a. Uh, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Now, Pokemon De Detective Pikachu is basically a backdoor pilot to what I I will call the uh, the Western uh, Pokemon uh, Cinematic Universe or the Western Pokemon Media Universe. And it and what the good thing about the movie is that it fit into the lore. It respected the lore. It respected the creatures. It respected the characterization, the atmosphere of the. Sh of the uh, of the universe, and that's why it broke the video game movie curse, along with Sonic the Hedgehog, because it was it, it was entertaining. It was entertaining. It it spared the lore and it did not insult their audience. Now here's the thing, I will have a live action series that is an, an, an adaptation of the red slash blue Pokemon games. Red slash blue Pokemon games, but it fits the tone and atmosphere of uh, Pokemon Detective T Pikachu. What I mean fits the tone and lore, it means I rather have it faithful to the games, but grounded in reality, and at the same time respects the uh, lore and plot lines of the uh of the video games. I mean there's a whole list of there's a whole uh <laughs> there is a whole uh treasure of uh video games and manga and and books they can easily use to adapt to the uh, to create this universe. To create this universe you have the games, you have the uh manga, you have the T V show, but I will focus on the uh on the t on the uh, games, the initial games, and have that tie that in into the Rhyme City uh, Pokemon universe. Because recently, Netflix live action adaptions are being criticized, especially ones for The Witcher and especially ones for uh, Cowboy Bebop. As long as the as long as the uh, T show is faithful. To the atmosphere, create the grounded yet lore respecting uh, atmosphere of Pokemon Detective Pikachu. They, I, I, I would not mind. But seriously, no, no. Because people when they hear the words Netflix, they get cynical real quick, real fast. Now I will have episodes of. Of uh, just an average trainer, possibly from uh, Power Town, going to their first journey. I will have one episode focused on a trainer in a tournament match in some in a tournament season. I will have one ep one episode or uh, all the episodes focused on on law enforcement. One of them focusing on exploring a cave. I mean, there's so many stories you can talk, you can depict, and show. In the Pokemon universe, so many of them that could that would fit this atmosphere that was set up by the lore friendly, uh, the atmosphere uh, setting of uh, of Rhyme City, and th and it would really connect the sequel. I mean, it would really connect to the, to Rhyme City and to the Netflix live action s show. If they actually do their research, the real question is: Will Netflix, the people behind the uh, live action series, the planned live action series, will they do their research? Will they actually watch the movie to show, to realize what people want, how people love that movie, and why people watch it? I mean, seriously, if they if they watch the movie 
and they use the same tactics they, they use. Problem is, they just respect the lore of the series. They know the atmosphere of the series. And here's the thing. The movie didn't took itself seriously. That's the thing. Any live action Netflix show for the Pokemon series has to not take itself seriously. And another thing, the Pokemon company has to supervise the uh the po has to supervise that live action show to make sure it respects the lore. Cause if that doesn't happen, you all know how, how that's gonna turn out when it finally releases on Netflix. But if it's really good, I will watch it. If it's not, I'm not. So that's why I initially said no when it happens. Basically, I don't trust Netflix until they deliver. So far, until they've proven they can deliver on a show, the answer is no. This is JK from the Ministry of Otaku, signing off. Have a good evening.